Hey dudes, today I want to talk about using Waves Central. So if you are downloading Waves plugins, you will need to get the Waves Central app on your computer, and that will be the way that you both install a product and then license it. So let's jump into it. Okay, so first things first, we'll just double click and open Waves Central. And there are quite a few things you can look at here, but I think the two main tabs are gonna be install products and licenses. So uh, Waves Central and Waves in general works a little differently where you cannot license something, meaning you can make it active and usable. You cannot license something to an iLock, which we often do. You have to license it to an actual drive. So you can do it to your computer's hard drive or you can do it to your external hard drive, which is kind of nice, at least if you're working on your external hard drive, you got your licenses available. Maybe you bring that to another stage to mix or something else and you still got your licenses, but worth to mention that your licenses will need to go onto a hard drive. Some people will also just use a thumbstick or flash drive or whatever you want to call it. Something is dedicated to just the licenses. So I'm going to go to install products. These are all my products, so I can look around and see what is installed and what is not. But you can also go to all products if you want to look at their entire library. So in this case, it looks like I'm pretty much caught up, but I can just pick on, let's say this Abbey Road. So this is like a tape emulation. And I'll try one more. So this virtual mix room over headphones, this will mimic 5.1 spaces with any regular headphones. That's a kind of interesting one as well. So I'll just go ahead and install them, but I'm getting this little error message. So good thing we checked here. I'm using a version of Mac OS that's too high for version nine through 12. But for now, I will just try this version 14 here and install. All right, so once you do that, you just need to double check that your licenses are exactly where you want them to be. So. I have already placed all of my licenses on this drive, but let's just say for fun that I'm going to uh, deactivate this. So this is also another way that you need to know how to operate this is if you wanna get it off of a drive and move it to another drive, you can simply just deactivate. It moves your license. And so now it'll be in the not activated category so let's say you have not activated it yet, or I wanna just move it onto whatever drive I need to move it to. Pop it there. Target for licenses. I don't wanna put it on my computer. I want them to all be on this external drive. Bada boom, hit activate. Move that successfully. Double check my connected devices. Here is my external drive. And there it goes. It popped on there and then we are good to go. So one more thing to note is that you may need to get this Waves update plan. So this is showing you from earlier, what we talked about is I have older versions of stuff. So here's that Abbey Road. Um, here is version 10, for example, that's not gonna work with my operating system, which is the error code that I got. Um, so I can pick and choose different things that I want to update. In particular, what's important to me is this WLM Plus and Vocal Writer. I do need to make sure these are on my machine. I use them a lot. Um, you know, before you ever update an operating system or update a plugin or anything like that, just make sure that it's gonna work for your system. But I at least wanted to throw that in there. It's not technically part of the uh, Wave Central app that we've been looking at, but important to note that I had, for example, WLM Plus 13 on my computer, but it's not going to work because it needs a version 14. 
So of course there's more that goes on with the Waves Central app, but I think learning how to install plugins and license them are probably the two most important things that you need to know. Remember, no iLox here. You have to use an external drive or you have to put it onto your actual computer and then remember to deactivate and then reactivate onto a new machine. So not too hard, but just a different system. And I just wanted to go over it and make sure that that was clear to you guys. So I hope you get some good Waves plugins in your life and that they help your sessions from here on out. And until next time, later dudes.